Hey future data enthusiast, welcome back to Guide Coachings, the go-to channel for all things data driven. I'm your host Moazam Ali and today we are diving deep into the world of ETL tool Altrex. Okay, what is Altrex? Altrex is a very important and renowned tool for ETL performance. Now what is ETL? We already know it is extract, transform and load the data. Okay get ready for the insights that will turbocharge your data visualization game but before we embark on this knowledge journey if you haven't already make sure you to hit that subscribe button below why because here we don't just analyze data we transform it into actionable insights together by subscribing you are not just keeping up with the latest insights you are joining a family passionate about leveraging the data for success now speaking of success i have something truly exciting to share with you many of you have been asking for a for a more immersive learning experience and guess what your wish is our command i am thrilled to announce our exclusive three months online course for aspiring data analyst yep you heard it right in this comprehensive program we will equip you with the skills you needed to navigate the data landscape like a pro from understanding the fundamentals to mastering the advanced level analytics techniques we have got it, uh, we have got it all covered first two demo classes are absolutely free you can join live classes on saturdays and sundays between 11 am to 2 pm if you are serious about taking your data data game to the next level check out the link in the description for more details and secure your spot today seats are limited and trust me you don't want to miss this opportunity all righty then let's jump into today's topic that is etl tool altrex okay so we are going to talk about altrex how it looks and uh, why it is so important so as you can see this on to the screen this is the ui of the altrex okay this is how the altrex ui will look like okay so now we are we will continue our same statement problem statement where we have the sample superstore we which we are you know handling for a online store where we have product id category subcategories and product name okay these are the details of a sales data for an organization which sells the different products on online as well and they have a physical store okay we call it sample superstore now what happens on the daily basis uh, the or on on yearly basis so from 2023 january till december 2023 31st of december 2023 all the data which all the transaction of the all the sales data will be stored into the sql database and rest of the data like previous years all the transactions so from 20 before 2023 all uh, if the business started in 2018 2017 so all the previous years data is uploaded as a onto the cloud that is aws which we can you uh, know tell that s3 bucket where the data is stored for the previous uh, years why there are two reasons to improve the performance of the current sql data source and to keep and secure the data which is previously all the transaction which has happened into the organization now you must be wondering why why, why it is important to keep all the records which have been you know the uh, all the transaction which we did in into the past now uh, there is a saying that history repeats itself so by analyzing those data by by analyzing those backdated records we will understand the consumer behavior how the consumer behaves in a particular situation when when a festival comes how they behave when a offer is offered how they behave when a discount is applied how they behave when a pandemic happens how they behave so this is nothing but you know data points which helps a business owners or a strategic strategic manager to finalize a strategy to boost and enhance the business so this all points helps to improve and to make a better and best decisions and to come up with new ideas for selling or for you know promoting the sales okay so now this is the sales this is the data where you know the the data is here now we will talk about a problem statement so the problem statement over here is uh, we have three different entities first one is your customer data the second one is your product data and the third one is your sales data so 
customers can buy online and they are coming from to your physical stores so their data is into the csv files their data is into text files their data is into excel files then we have products so we have listed different different products we have given their product id product description product variance product pricing and n number of things we have so we have those details into the product data section or a table then we have different sales data so sales data could be stored into the excel formats they could be into sql database or as i mentioned into the previous slide where we are putting the data into waws which is a cloud based storage okay so all these things are stored in a different different locations now imagine the situation the current situation all the data is stored differently now your manager comes to you 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 manage the business okay you manage the store now your manager comes to you and ask you to generate a sales report for past quarter so now you scratch your head you don't know how to do it because all the data which is required is distributed into different different locations so how you will get it so to do that it is going to be a very hectic task so here comes the all tricks for our help that is extract transform load it's a process etl is a process and all tricks is a tool so all tricks comes for our help where it takes all the data from all the different locations it clean it out it transform it it loads it and it creates the reports by its own okay you can create the job scheduling okay we call it job scheduling where we create a job and we it can be done automatically it can be done weekly it can be done monthly it can be scheduled on a specific time that okay on monday morning 8 aim i want this report to be published so at that time the reports will be published to number of users whom you know you will include into the group so that is how the dynamicity it gives us and we can you know automate the process we can you know collect the data from different data sources we just need to do a pipelining first and then all the data will come automatically it will be cleaned and it will be pushed to the Uh, reports whatever reports you want to create so that is the problem statement we are going to discuss now imagine the situation where we have different different you know file formats and this is the first process where the data is taken from all these sources so we call it extraction now all these data is coming to one level that is merging and into the third level we are cleaning and validating it so we are cleaning so now in cleaning we have already discussed discussed what we do so if we have us no we have a country column in in one table we are using usa in one table we are using us in one table we are using united state so these are three different names for a one country or for no for for one country so this is not good so we will do the normalization we will clean the data if a negative profit is there we will convert it into the zero if a value which is not relatable like if age is in negative we will convert it into zero because age cannot be negative it can be zero profit cannot be negative it can be loss can can be in negatives okay so that is how the currency normalization if we have uh, n number of stores into different you know uh, locations so if in one country it is usd in one country it is dirhams in one country it is rupees so normalization is important it is required so that cleaning and validation happens over here then we transform the data okay transforming aggregating and joining the data we will you know definitely going to join the customer table the product table and the sales table to get the correct insights so that aggregation will happen at the third layer and then we create the report so this create we actually we don't create it etl process that altrex create the reports <coughs> now <coughs> this is how the ui of the altrex will look like where we have file menu where we have the four options available which you have already you know uh, seen in multiple uh, projects <clears throat> then we have tool palette okay so in tool palette we will be storing the tool values <coughs> i'm sorry then we have configuration window uh, where we whatever operations we will perform here the 
configuration window window will will uh, show that uh, like we have done calculated fields so we will be creating those calculated fields and it will have some different name over here we'll see that in later but just for your understanding that whatever configuration we will do it will be shown over here whatever ER diagram so it will show the view that how which data source is connected to how which data source and how the joining is proce process is done so ERD type of diagram we will see over here and when we click on run button we'll see the results into the results window okay so this is main menu tool palette window workflow and results window don't worry we will be discussing it and we'll be seeing it now here this part this is like uh, in out preparation join this part is called as a tool categories okay we call it tool categories then over here we have a very important uh, option that is search uh, for tools so whatever if you know as we are a new beginner uh, for a new beginner it will be very helpful and very handy whenever you want to type anything you can just you want to find anything you will just find type it over here and you can explore and find out the examples of it now we'll see uh, as i mentioned about the file if you have done something over here this is uh, you know workflow over here if you click on plus it will open a new tab if you are working on this you let's suppose you have worked on it over here and you will click on file and you want to save it so once you click on it and you want to save it it will be going to save into yxmd now yx you is coming from Altrex. okay if you can see yx then md so that is the extension which is going to be used for a file to be saved okay uh, then we as I, as i have given you an example of united state us uk uh, sorry us and united states these are the some uh, same country name which is going to be repeated so we will be do using one name which is going to be used so that is the pro process of cleaning the data to manage it and that is how you will be you know joining the tables joining the different different data sources and creating a view so this is your view overview of your uh, workflow which you are creating okay so that's all i hope you enjoyed the video and you have learned something new uh, if you have any questions any queries or any doubts you can write me a comment and we will be discussing it into our next session that's all for today thank you so much